We're here today at the Emeril um, flight line at uh, Prescott Airport, and I have with me uh, Jerry Kendrick, pre professor at the Emeril. How are you today? Fine, thanks. Yeah. Um, Emeril has been around in Prescott since 1978, and uh, I know back then it was 100% aviation aeronautics. Sure was. Aerospace. Uh, it's about only about 25% today. Right. Um, what are some of the other disciplines you've taken on? Well, uh, I think probably everybody's heard that uh, aeronautical engineering here is one of our biggest programs and uh, just got named again the number one aeronautical uh, university in the country for aeronautical engineering. Out of 1800. Correct, correct. And then uh, we have global security and intelligence here. It's a recently added degree program. A lot of our graduates are ending up at the CIA and the FBI. There's a real need for that right now. Also forensic um, uh, work with computers so that uh, Embry-Riddle is working a lot towards defending our country. And I think you also have a new STEM building, so you probably have a lot of STEM disciplines. We do. Uh, science, technology, engineering, and math is a big thing here at Embry-Riddle. We uh, attract that kind of student that wants to come here, wants to make a difference, and uh, from that, a lot of our alumni are out in the industry right now creating what's next in uh, unmanned aerial vehicles, uh, rocketry, that kind of thing. And I think you have around um, enrollment of about 2,700 students, and about half of those are um, engineers in STEM, that type of thing. That's true. Um, really, we're kind of evenly split now across several disciplines, uh, like you've mentioned with aviation being about a quarter of our enrollment. Um, but our other degree programs are very attractive, and uh, our graduates are finding work uh, right after graduation here. That's one of the nice things about coming to Embry-Riddle. And uh, even though you're only, it's only 25% of your current uh, uh, program for, for disciplines. Um, you're, I think you're gonna double your, your flight program because there's just that much need for pilots. Well, yeah, there's a pilot shortage out there for sure and uh, it's affected us in a couple of ways. Our enrollment has gone up, but um, it's difficult for us right now to hang on to flight instructors. So those two lines are, uh, are divergent for us right now. So there's a lot of incentives to uh, either stay here as a student and become a flight instructor or come from the outside if you already have your flight instructor rating, uh, this is a great place to do that. Um, one of the things that's coming up here pretty shortly, I think on the 7th of October, is your Wings Out West, which is your annual alumni um, event that you, you uh -huh. bring the people in and celebrate you know, the fact that they've had an opportunity to graduate from Emory Riddle. And right. uh, last year you had it in conjunction with the AOPA. Can you explain how that worked out last year? Right, the Airplane Owners and Pilots Association uh, picks four locations around the country every year. Last year, uh, they picked Prescott Airport as one of the four locations. What we did was, uh, when that happened, we partnered with them and combined our annual alumni uh, air show. Uh, we provided some aerial demonstration as part of that uh, fly-in. They set records for attendance, uh, both airplanes flying in and people to come and watch. So. Uh, as you know, we talked about leverage in the success of last year's fly-in and uh, doing that again this year with hopes to build it uh, in the future to a larger event. And I think Prescott used to have uh, an air show event that it put on uh, maybe seven, eight years ago. It, been, it was very successful, as I understand, and there was a lot of people. Some people even said there was as many as 15,000 coming right. over a weekend to uh, observe the air show. And then uh, Prescott stopped that for a while and... Uh, you know, right now we're looking at trying to uh, start that up and have it in conjunction with your Wings Out West. Indeed. Um, and I believe um, your Chancellor, Frank Ayers, has said that uh, he fa feels that that's a good opportunity for both of us. Well, it is, and, and actually, potentially, uh, if you look around out west, there's not a real big air show uh, that people can plan on every year. There are a couple of military shows in California that are uh, consistently put on, but um, I think Dr. Ayers has a vision that maybe Wings Out West becomes the signature uh, Western air show. So That'd be great. There's gonna be a lot of activity here. You've always had this as a private event. This would be, well, last year, of course, with the OPA, it became more public. We had about 6,000 people show up. Uh, but this is the first time we're actually gonna have a public event uh, on your flight line. Right. Uh, last year it was over on the airport side where the terminal is um, and hopefully we can build this to where uh, next year we could actually or maybe in two years we could actually have it over there sure. and maybe have it as big a event as we had for the OPA. 
Right, and you know, Embry Real is happy to showcase uh, our our facility out here at the airport, and uh, are very thrilled to be partnering with the city of Prescott. We want this to develop into something that continues and grows, and uh, we're certainly going to do this every year. Have our alumni event, so it's a natural centering point for that air show, and uh, I think we can make it a success. Is there any reason why you do it at this time of the year? Is it just appropriate because school has started again? Right. I don't know the uh, the October selection. It's always uh, the first Saturday in October, mm -hmm. and uh, it was that way when I got here, so I'm not sure how they decided that. Well, I'm sure you're going to have a great program this year. Can you explain some of the events? And Sure. We've got world-class uh, aerial demonstration uh, performers coming in, and when I say world-class, I mean that. Uh, the uh, U.S. aerobatic team representatives mm -hmm. uh, um, will be here. Um, we've got a parachute jumper out of Phoenix, uh, a lady... Uh, Cindy Irish, she's a member of the Misty Blues, to jump in our American flag to start. Uh, we've got some static displays, some World War II warbirds, uh, some local and some from out of town. And then uh, we're, we're pretty excited. We've got some Arizona National Guard helicopters coming in. Um, we've got a Vietnam-era Cobra. And uh, a couple of those that are coming in and bringing their aircraft here are going to be selling rides after the show or on Sunday. So. If you're interested in uh, getting a ride in a Warbird, this would be the place to come. Uh, so do you think between now and uh, the event, which I think is uh, not this weekend, but the following weekend, Correct. Um, do you think you get more static display aircraft uh, volunteering to come in? Well, it seems like uh, more every day. Um, a lot of folks have waited until the end because they weren't sure operationally if they would have an aircraft available, but now they're starting to come out. So our ramp is filling up quickly, and uh, for those coming out, There'll be a lot to see uh, on Saturday. Yeah. Um, I guess I'll talk to you about it, and I'll talk to the second guest about it, too. And uh, are you concerned about parking and uh, having facilities for a large number of the public coming in here? We are a little concerned. Um, you know, the Embry-Riddle piece of this is mostly the static displays and the flying. And uh, my friend Jesse over at the airport gets saddled with the, with the uh, parking part. So she's a little concerned. And, of course, we all are. Uh, we've got a lot of help from the city of Prescott, the police department. There's going to be lots of signage here. I would recommend to people that they come early so that we don't have anybody missing the start of the aerial demonstration, which will be at 10. Uh, so get here early enough to do that and uh, be in a good position to see uh, the performers. Okay. I know last year at the AOPA there was a lot of aviation vendors. And I talked to some of them afterwards and they said it was probably one of the best opportunities they had to display and sell their wares. Uh, are you going to have any aviation vendors this year? We do have some. Um, some of these warbirds, they bring along with them what they call a little mini PX. Uh, they kind of set up a, a military um, uh, PX where they can sell uh, memorabilia like that. I think we have three of those coming in. There's going to be some food vendors here, so uh, you'll be able to stay for lunch and enjoy the show. Okay. Um, Maybe you can just tell us very quickly the time, dates, everything, so that sure. uh, we get it out. Sure, we're going to do it on the 7th of October. Um, gates are open at 9. You might be able to sneak in a little early because we're interested in keeping the traffic moving. Uh, the aerial demo portion will start at 10 and last until noon. And then we're going to end the show at 2. So you'll have plenty of time to watch the demo, make your way around to look at the static displays, and uh, purchase things if you'd like. And uh, so those are the, those are the hours and, and time. Okay. And then the opportunity for possible rides on various aircraft would be after the show, after 2 o'clock. Correct. The, those that are selling rides are going to relocate from here and uh, potentially set up over at Legend Aviation. They'll do that Saturday afternoon uh, and then again Sunday if they have enough people that are interested. Okay. You had a pretty good, pretty interesting uh, air demonstration last year. I think you had two planes and uh, one was piloted by a female. Uh, do you have the same team this year, or is it going to be totally different people? It's a little bit different. We have some of the same performers returning. They actually like to come here. Uh, there are a few that we've used more than once because they really love this show, and they really love coming to Prescott. Um, we do have a couple of different ones. Uh, also of note is that uh, we're going to have them all fly by over the city, over Prescott Valley, over Prescott, and then over our campus. At 5 o'clock, all our students will be assembled for another event. So. We're going to do a little bit of that to advertise the fact that uh, to come out the next morning and uh, see them perform. But th the performances that they put on, both single and multi-ship, you don't, won't see any better in any air show anywhere. Okay. And uh, I'm sure there will be an opportunity for people to actually talk to these pilots and see their high-performance aircraft and talk to them about their 
their aircraft. Absolutely. And we'll have a little booth set up and you can get a signature. We'll have pictures to hand out. You can have the performer sign the pictures and uh, have a little memento of the air show and take it away with you. Well, I think it's going to be a great show. I do too. Look forward to uh, partying with you again in the future and hopefully we can make this a bigger and better air show in the years to come. We're all for that. Thank you. Okay, thanks, Jerry. Mm -hmm. Appreciate having you. Thank you. Second segment, we're still at the uh, Emory Riddle um, flight line. We've moved over to the um, maintenance hangar and we have one of their training aircraft behind us. Uh, my second guest today is Jesse Baker, the uh, assistant airport manager. How are you today, Jesse? I'm great, thank you for having me. Uh, well, I think we had a great uh, AOPA event last year. We did. And uh, maybe you can tell us how exciting and uh, important you thought that was for Prescott? Oh, I thought it was it was really important just because I think it put Prescott on the map as far as aviation and aeronautics. Um, we already have a wonderful university, Embry-Riddle, right here in our town, but with AOPA, we got national, um, nationwide marketing that went out for this fly-in. So a lot of people came to our community that didn't know about Prescott and didn't know about everything that Prescott has to offer. So I think it was vital to be part of that AOPA fly-in event. I'm um, gonna really set the stage for our current event with uh, partnering with Embry-Riddle and doing this Wings Out West demonstration aerial sh air show. And last year it was basically uh, Embry-Riddle and AOPA mm -hmm. as the main sponsors and I think we were just in a very much support role. Oh yes, very but much But this so. year we're actually a sponsor along with Embry-Riddle yeah. and AOPA maybe will come back again in the future. We sure hope so. But yeah, I mean you're exactly right. We're partnering with, with Embry-Riddle this year in a way that we've never done before because this event has always been closed to the public and an alumni only event and this is the first time ever that we can kind of invite the public and see what the airport has to offer and showcase Embry-Riddle in a very big way. And I think last year you, you indicated that there was approximately uh, 6,000 folks that came to visit uh, yeah, 60, the air show. Yeah, 6,300, uh, yeah. I think there was close to 700 planes that flew in. Yep. So don't know whether we get that kind of uh, participation this year. Right. Uh, I know that um, AOPA and a few other folks have advertised it, but mm -hmm. we may not get quite the level of fly-in right. participation, but we hope we get the, the public traffic like we had last year. Yes, exactly right. And that's really what we're planning for is to get a lot of the, the drive-in traffic and public and community traffic that we had last year. I think that they're gonna come back because they had such a great time last year, but the fly-in traffic, we don't really know what we're gonna get at this point because like I said, AOPA, um, they marketed it nationwide last time and we just don't have that kind of marketing this time mm -hmm. to shoot it out to everywhere, but we're hoping that people still fly in. That's yeah. still our goal. And, you know, I, th I hope people don't think this is just for pilots. This is right. just for people that are, you know, uh, own planes or like planes. Actually, this can be a, a very good family event. Yes, absolutely. I say bring your kids because that's exactly what we want. We want um, people to get engaged with um, the university, get in engaged with the city and the airport. But this is going to be fun for the entire family. There's going to be static displays, so really cool aircraft for people to get to look around and see, talk to pilots if they want to. We'll have um, some demonstrations like with the UAV and rocket teams that are a part of Embry-Riddle. But yeah, this is fun for everybody. Um, I think uh, you're gonna have food trucks here this year. Yeah. So I mean, if, if people come out here, they're not gonna starve for six hours. Right. They, they can actually have a, a chance to eat. There's yes. gonna be uh, aircraft vendors here, I believe. Yes, absolutely. So we'll have food trucks. They'll be local and some from the Valley all coming up here. Um, so like you said, they're not gonna starve. If they come here, it's gonna be a full public event um, with all of the venues and atmosphere that comes okay. with that. You know, um, a few years ago, uh, Arizona, Prescott had its own air show. Right. And uh, I think it stopped around 2006, 2007. Right. And uh, we're trying to, to get that started again almost 10 years later. Yeah. Uh, can you talk a little bit about the old air show? Sure. Or yeah, that, the old air show was actually held by a private um, 501c3 um, company that put on the air show. And, and the city of Prescott kind of allowed it to happen here at our facility. Um, but it was it got so big, it brought in like 15,000 people one year. Um, it did stop in 2007. There was um, an uh, an accident that kind of ceased that operation, but we're hoping that we can build it back up again and hopefully get that kind of crowd back here in Prescott. Good. Um, 
Is this event free? It is. It's free, free parking, free admission. So there's really no reason why anybody wouldn't want to come out to the airport and take advantage of this event. So if people are coming out to uh, attend this event, uh, how are they going to get here? Where are they going to park? Yeah, they're going to go exactly like they're going to the airport terminal. So if you don't know where the airport terminal is, you're going to come on 89 and turn on McCurdy. We're going to have a ton of volunteers, a ton of signage to make sure that people can get in quickly and efficiently and get parked. But that's going to you're going to go exactly like you're going to the airport terminal. What has Prescott done to try and make this uh, success successful event this year? Well, as far as our partnership goes, we're kicking in some on in-kind services. So we're taking a taking care of everything that is required to make this event public. So um, Embry-Riddle is basically hosting the aerial demonstration and hiring all of those performers that we're gonna see here from 10 to noon um, on that day. But everything else is pretty much um, going to be the city of Prescott kicking in. So, I mean, even though the small logistic things like trash cans and restrooms for the public, the city of Prescott is really taking ownership and making sure that we can take care of our citizens and our public for this event. Well, I think this is gonna be a great air show, a great event for Prescott and Embry-Riddle. Again, we hope to build it up to uh, even uh, greater proportions next year with even more static uh, uh, warbirds and other types of displays. Absolutely. Uh, you know, I've been to Oshkosh. I've seen many uh, old aircraft that are brought in, flown in. Some yep. of them are drug in uh, <laughs> for people to take a look at. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's really interesting. Uh, even though people are not pilots, uh, they do love to look at aircraft, yeah. and oh, particularly people, vintage aircraft absolutely, and warbirds. Absolutely, uh, absolutely. And in this community specifically, loves aviation. I mean, every time that we've had an event here at the airport, whether it's sponsored by Ember Riddle or the city of Prescott or AOPA, people show up. I mean, people really have a love of aviation in this community and in this state, because um, Prescott's a wonderful flying town and we have a lot of aviation draw here, great weather. So um, yeah, people love aviation here and I love that. And uh, just as an aside, we had a couple of warbirds that came in this year. I think one was a B-29 uh -huh, and, the and B -17. a B-17. Yep. And, uh, uh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah we had, had a, a ton of people come out yeah. for that. Now, I think they were able to get rides too, right? Yes, they are. Yeah, yeah. So I think they might get some warbird rides on this yeah. during this event too. Yep. So again, I think this is going to be a great, uh, great event for Prescott, great event for Emory Riddle, and looking forward to making it bigger and better next year. Me too. And thank you for, for everything you're doing to make yeah. this a success for Prescott. Absolutely. Thank okay. you. Thank you, and uh, uh, we'll be back again next next month with another uh, fine show for you. Thank you.